Hello people, the name is Uduak Akban. I want to say Happy New Year. We made it and it's been a great time of course to uh, be here again. It's really, 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 really been a great time and I know that 2021 is going to be a very great and very wonderful year for each and every one of us. Even though we know that some of us that, you know, had some things carried over into 2021. But I want to tell you that 2021 is a year that we have never seen before in our lives, in everything um, we can ever think about. It's the, it's, it is not a usual kind of year, but it's a year that God wants to really move in the midst and on behalf of everyone that puts their trust in Him. Our Bible says, Where sin abound, grace did much more abound. So, my concern is the fact that I was going to really, really enjoy the grace that abounds, the more sin increases, the grace that abounds, the more. So grace is available and I want us to tap into that grace that is available for us to be able to, you know, surge ahead and of God, prosper and, you know, abundantly uh, this particular year. Now, at this, that part of the year or that period of the year where you begin to get different prophecies, you know, different people come with different prophecies and before you know it, um, if you are not careful, if you don't, you are not grounded, uh, in the world, I'm not saying I'm grounded, but at least with a little, I know about the word of God. I know some prophecies as soon as I read or see or hear about them, I discard them. Why? Because there are three things I look out for in every prophecy that comes. Number one, edification, comfort, and exhortation. I'm going to 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 3. Every prophecy that does not have these three components can never be from God. Because even if prophecy comes, even with things that look as if um, is scary. God will always give, um, provide a solution to it. Case in point, there's a particular prophecy um, that's going on right now that I, 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 I want to run with. Just like that says that your success this year is entirely in your hands if you can pray. Now, that already speaks to the fact that the year will not be um, the, one of the usual years of, or, or one of those years you know, want to go into it just like that, but it could be a difficult year. But the point is that God has made provision for His own, for meaning that for everyone that can pray, who put their hope and their trust in God, in what God can do in His provision. I said in my last video that Psalm 112 was one to pray, talking about the Father. There's a guarantee for prosperity, for wealth, there's guarantee for righteousness, and there's also guarantee for my seed or our seed, you know, becoming mighty upon the earth. The only condition that God requires from us is just what? To fear Him. So if I fear God, it means that it will influence everything I do, my decisions here on earth, and every to guide my steps, meaning that I will always be at the right path at the right place, doing the right thing for the right purpose and the right motive because the fear of God will guide you, you know, and so, so that particular thing gives me the confidence of going to the year. And I always want to tell people that prophecy should not guide your life. Prophecy should not guide your life. The best and the best way God speaks to us is through His word. If you look at um, 1 Corinthians chapter, um, chapter 15. I want to read 3 and 4. 1 Corinthians 15 and 3 and 4. It says, For I delivered, Paul was speaking, it says, For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Look at verse 4. And that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. The emphasis here is according to the scriptures. It therefore means that those scriptures that they're talking about prophecies. Things that have come up, you know, that Jesus Christ will always say that it might be fulfilled. You know, you see different parts in the scripture that talks about, um, for example, you know, when he went to Egypt, you know, when he was going back to in, 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 in the manger and all those, you know, and you hear that, that it might be fulfilled, meaning that things that have been prophesied concerning his life, you know, that it might be fulfilled. So, uh, you also look at John chapter 5, verse 39. John chapter 5, verse 39. Jesus Christ said, Cite the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life, and they are that which testify of me. And when he's talking about the fact that they testify of me, he's talking about Genesis to Revelation, meaning that everything that God has always done, the plan of God from the beginning before the foundation of the world, 
actually is about Christ, it's about the hope of redemption. And so Jesus Christ said, second scripture, you see that all these things they testify of me. So the best way and the best place you should put your eyes, your hope, your everything should be in the scriptures because it's the best way God speaks to us. God speaks to us through prophecy when he wants to promote the people or when he wants to encourage the people. You know, prophecy edifies. That's why I see that he that prophesied, you know, has done better to the body of Christ, you know, because what is saying edifies than he that speaks in tongues. For example, you come to the pulpit right now in a particular setting or a church and begin to speak in tongues. They accept the, an interpretation of tongues that the people cannot get edified. So God says prophecy because He wants to encourage or edify the people. God does not send prophecy to send fear or jittery into the heart of you know or, 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 or the mind of the people. You know, sometimes you hear some prophecies and before you know it. You can actually pour cold water on your expectations. You know, some people are written down from things. Some people have been praying about a lot of things and believing that in 2021, this thing is going to come to pass. Then you hear some promises that just prophesies do without a solution. And you even hear some of these people even boasting and saying that if this does not come to pass, do not say I'm a man of God. God sent Jonah, you know, to Nineveh and he told them, go and tell them they will die in three days. I, he got there, he said they would die. And the moment they heard this message, all of them came down humble themselves, prayed and called upon God and God, you know, move and change the course of the thing. So God does not send prophecy because he wants to destroy the people. Mm -mm. The only thing when God does that because he wants to separate his own. So God will allow calamities, dangers, issues, things to happen because he wants to encourage, you know, he wants to single out his people for everyone that puts their hope and their trust on him. So that's what I'm going to tell you today, that don't let prophecy ruin your life. Don't let prophecy destroy your hope. Don't let prophecy destroy your faith. Let the word of God, because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So God has, so God will always send forth his word because he wants the people to look up to him. So everyone that begins to look up to God, then definitely he will single them out and began to begin to progress even in the year. So look up to God and let God guide every step. Psalm 112, Psalm 112, verse 3. Let that verse 1 to 3, let that be your guide all through the year, and God will come through for you. I want to pray, I want to pray for you today that every part of your story for 2021 that the enemy has written. God himself will believe the same and begin to raise you up and write the same in your life with his right hand of righteousness. God bless you, real God. The name is Uduak Ahmad. If this is your first time speaking this channel, please do not forget to subscribe. You can also help us share. Let this message go to people and let people be encouraged for the prayer for prayer. I believe that people around you that are already scared of being worried about what is going on or where we need to move to. See, God, God will always single his own out. And if you're part of his family, then you can be rest assured that God will single you out and he will make way for you this year. And that's my prayer for you. Where there is evil, you will not be part of them in their mighty name. And I declare that this year you will not fulfill a negative prophecy. God bless you. Your God. The name is Udua. Go into the year with confidence, knowing that God will stand and fight for you all the days in your life. At the end of the year, we will gather again to celebrate. At the end of the year, you will be there to testify of the fulfillment and God's goodness over your life and over your family and over the works of the hand because God will bless the same and will stand out and be good in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, real good. Thank you so much for listening.